What's up guys? Good morning. Hope y'all have an awesome day. My name is Dylan Turley. So today guys what we're doing Pretty plain and simple. That's probably why you clicked on the video. We are going to live 24 hours like Tom Holland doing his diet his workout and I'm doing specifically the one for spider-man and it was Kind of hard to figure this thing out because Tom Holland was only 20 when he did this and he didn't really even have to have really a diet plan so because he's still young and just burns it off food because he has a high metabolism. It must be nice. So, this is what's about to go down. So guys, starting off with breakfast. Really, really quick uh, information about Tom Holland. When he was starting Spider-Man, they actually wanted him to bulk up. Most actors get real shredded looking down, such as like Thor and all of them. But he actually had to bulk up. They wanted him to bulk up at least 14 pounds. So everything that he ate, he had to eat double of. And that's literally all I could find on his diet is he had to have two things of protein and they each had to be a fist size. Dang. And then uh, two fist size of carbs and then two fist size of greens. So we want to fit all that in today. He didn't, couldn't find a certain number so we're just going to kind of go off that. I found some foods that he really, really likes though so I'm pretty much going to incorporate them into that. So let's get with some breakfast guys. Guys, so check this out. Like I said, I might have went overboard. I didn't really know. I just went by my fist. So I got two fist size. I would say that's probably fist size bowls of fruit. Got two major protein sources, which is a fist size, but it got a little smaller. My camera is falling. So like I said, look at this junk. Fist size, two bowls of fruit. Got two major fist size portions of protein. Fist, going, not going by the girth, sadly. If that was the case, I'd be all right all the time and then this is does that not look exciting just a bowl of a uh, spinach so I'm gonna eat all this oh and of course just a cup of coffee I'm gonna eat all this and uh, we're going to uh, get to the workout after and I'll let y'all know how I feel so let's get started Whew, the, uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of fruit. A lot of fruit, you guys. I think that's just good done easy, though. Even the spinach. All right, guys. I'm not going to say I failed. I'm just making a substitution. But this fruit... Gonna go get a fist sized thing of bread. Got two pieces here, two more coming. Let's get back to it. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> oh, I think I've achieved the uh, thing Tom Holland says in one of his interviews where he's like, he gets to eating and he's starting to feel something and then all of a sudden they just bring more food out. Ooh, that's what I feel. That fruit got me. It's like, I'm full, but it's like water and sugar. It's like, like you know that there's space in there, but it's like if you grab your stomach and wiggle it, it's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because it's like a crap ton of water. I'm going to go sit down for a minute, and then we're going to uh, head outside for the workout. And this it will be a very interesting workout. Trust me. So, guys, for Tom Holland's workout, it's actually a circuit training. It's not like a regular bodybuilding 
training or anything. And it actually does not consist any of weights. One of them is supposed to be a sledgehammer thing. You hit it on the tire, but I don't actually have that anywhere. And you're supposed to use a kettlebell to like substitute that. Well, I also don't have a kettlebell, so I'm probably just going to use a dumbbell and do kettlebell swings with a dumbbell. Not the safest thing I've ever done, but hey, sometimes you got to take some risk. But the thing that really confuses me at the start of it, his warm up is pull ups, push ups, and dips. And they're like three sets of like eight, 10, and I believe it's 15. I'm like, holy cow, just three sets of 10 is a warm-up for pull-ups. But this guy, if anybody knows anything about Tom Holland, he's a gymnast. He does calisthenics. He is real, real, knows exactly what to do with his body. And once you do calisthenics for a certain amount of time, it is like a whole different kind of like connection that you have with your body because I don't know if you've ever seen those people. They can do some crazy stuff. So we're going to start the warm-up, I guess, with pull-ups, push-ups, and dips. And then I'll let you see how I feel after that, and I'll lay out the whole training for the circuit so this ought to be interesting because i've not done this stuff in a long time so here we go Okay, guys, all done with the warm out, all limbered up, already feeling a little bit closer to Spider-Man. But I wanted to show you this. It's just a ideal in Arkansas for uh, doing an outside circuit warm up or workout. It's a solid 50 degrees outside. I don't like cold weather, but got my dumbbell. About to have to go measure out 100 meters and we'll get this done. 50 degrees. Perfect. All right, so what we gotta do, the exact plan is we gotta run 100 meters, then we gotta do 25 box jumps, 25 kettlebell swings, well, I'm using a dumbbell, 25 sit-ups and then 25 burpees and just go back down from that. So 25 sit-ups again, kettlebell, box jumps, and another 100 meter sprints. We're doing two rounds of that. I am going to be crippled after this, and now I gotta find something to do box jumps on. Found it.
I'm absolutely wrecked after just the first round. You know, going into it, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. It's the sit-ups, dude, that's the hardest part. I'm just gonna give myself a little break and we're gonna go for round two. Hopefully it'll be easier. I doubt it. Okay, I'm going for round two. I uh, figure you'll probably don't want a massive time lapse like the last one because it took forever. And you just, who wants to see me just jumping around all the time? So I'm gonna catch y'all right after I get done with this. So wish me luck. After that death trap just now, I've actually worked myself up an appetite, so I'm gonna chill out for a minute, and then I'm going to head and get the next meal. I look so much forward to food after I get done doing something extremely hard, and my body feels like it's slowly dying. So guys, it's now time for lunch. I am at my mom's house. She's helping me cook everything. We were gonna have some chicken sandwiches because that is one of Tom Holland's favorite food with a bunch of french fries. You can always kind of see him seeing, seeing him eat that on set, at least from the pictures I've seen. And the greens is just gonna be two massive salads. So in the end result, I'm gonna show y'all all, put the calories down. Let's get to eating. So guys, just got done at my mom's house, just got done eating uh, lunch. Lunch went down 10 times easier than breakfast did, and I'm literally thinking just because it's all the fruit. But anyway, so I'm feeling pretty good. Gonna go uh, take it easy now until probably around dinner time. I was gonna go try to do some gymnastic stuff, try to find some kind of foam pit, but COVID is uh, not allowing me to uh, become Spider-Man. So for the next uh, spider-man audition sadly guys i probably won't be able to do as good as flips as tom holland so yeah my back is killing me from those rocks and laying there doing the sit-ups that's was not the best idea so if anybody ever tries that do not play on the rocks because uh i'm feeling like a uh, 110 year old man right now i kind of dress like one too but i think it looks pimp you know what i mean All right, guys, that is it. Ate the last meal. I'll put the ending calories right here. It's been awesome. That was a uh, good day. The workout sucked, I'm not going to lie, but I've uh, been feeling pretty good. All the food went down pretty easy except for all the fruit in the morning. So thank you all for sticking around, though. Go out there, make that worth it, and I'll see you all in the next video.